I'm, I'm honored and humbled at this stage to, uh, to, to share the stage at this time uh, as we present the Global Privacy Assembly's third annual award named in memory of former European Data Protection Supervisor Giovanni Buttarelli, uh, recognizing leadership at the international level and cooperation. Uh, so please join me uh, in welcoming back to the stage after a very short departure, uh, uh, Josefina Ramon Vergara, uh, Commissioner of the Data Protection Authority of Mexico, which serves as chair of the Global Privacy Assembly. Thank you. Gracias de nueva cuenta. Muy buenos días tengan todas y todos ustedes. Gracias, Alex. Bien, a nombre del Pleno del Instituto Nacional de Transparencia, Acceso a la Información y Protección de Datos Personales de México, el INAI, antes que nada les quiero dar un cordial saludo de quienes integramos este pleno. Estuvo con nosotros la comisionada presidenta Blanca Lili Ibarra, también Norma Julieta del Río y Adrián Alcalá. Me complace mucho estar aquí el día de hoy para llevar a cabo la entrega del premio Giovanni Butarelli en su tercera edición. Este galardón fue creado, como ustedes saben, para reconocer y honrar a aquellas personas que han buscado crear una gobernanza más justa, ética y también responsable del derecho a la privacidad y a la protección de los datos personales. En este sentido, resaltamos la importancia de contar con liderazgos fuertes y ambiciosos que sean capaces de impulsar nuevos entendimientos y conocimientos sobre la importancia que adquiere la tutela de los derechos humanos en un ambiente de intempestivos cambios tecnológicos. El día de hoy nos sentimos muy honrados de estar frente a nuestra comunidad de autoridades para reconocer los logros de una de las grandes líderes mundiales en la protección de la privacidad y los datos personales, la doctora Andrea Jelinek, otrora presidenta del Comité Europeo de Protección de Datos y jefa de la Autoridad Austriaca de Protección de Datos. La doctora Jelinek es una abogada destacada en la materia de protección de datos y defensa de la privacidad a nivel global, cuya especialización en el derecho de asilo e inmigración contribuyó a determinar su carrera. Cuenta con una amplia experiencia y reconocida trayectoria profesional. En 2003, fue la primera mujer de Viena en ser nombrada como jefa de la Oficina del Comisionado de Policía y ha ocupado diversos cargos importantes, entre los que destacan el de funcionaria jurídica en la Secretaría General de la Conferencia de Rectores de Austria y el de jefe de departamento jurídico y legislativo en el Ministerio Interior. La voluntad y compromiso de la doctora Jelinek con el fortalecimiento de las redes globales y los esfuerzos para incorporar el cumplimiento normativo del Reglamento General de Protección de Datos dentro de los países de la Unión Europea es encomiable. En su labor como jefa de la Autoridad de Protección de Datos en Austria, logró que este país se distinga por ser uno de los primeros en adaptar sus políticas nacionales al reglamento europeo, así como por sus sólidas medidas de control de la información personal. Sin más preámbulo, demos por favor un cálido aplauso a la doctora Andrea Jelinek, pues este reconocimiento no es sino una muestra más 
de que su trayectoria ha dejado una huella imborrable que habrá de guiar y orientar nuestros esfuerzos para lograr un balance efectivo entre el aprovechamiento de los avances tecnológicos y la tutela de los derechos humanos en los tiempos que vivimos. Le damos un cálido aplauso a la doctora. Thank you, Wojciech. I'm honored to accept this award and to have my work recognized in such a way by my esteemed colleagues. It has truly been one of the most rewarding experiences of my working life to have been the very first chair of the European Data Protection Board. The opportunity to build this new EU body from scratch and to help guide the implementation of the GDPR from the very beginning was a challenge like no other. Of course, I could not have done this on my own. They say it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it took more than 30 DPAs, all their stuff, as well as the ETPS, to build the European Data Protection Board, not to mention the dedicated and tireless work of each and everyone at the ETPP Secretariat. I have been very lucky to have had all of you by my side during these last five years. It is through the excellent cooperation between the European DPAs that the ETPP is what it is today, a unique decision-making body with a far-reaching impact, well respected in Europe and beyond. This award is not just a recognition of my work, but of all the work we have accomplished together since 2018, to have been a primus inter pares, a first amongst equals, among the European DPAs has been incredibly rewarding. Not one day went by when I did not learn something from my fellow heads of DPAs and I will always cherish this experience. I could not be happier that this hard work is now being recognized by the most important international forum for data protection, the GPA. I gladly accept this award on behalf of the entire ETPB and I'm especially honored to be given an award that is named after one of the guiding stars of data protection who left us too soon, but whose ideas live on and inspire us still today. Thank you, Giovanni. I wish you all a very successful conference and interesting meetings. Thanks again to all of you. Muchas gracias. Muy bien. Doctora Andrea Jelinek, por supuesto que le haremos llegar este... Creemos que está muy, muy bonito. Por supuesto que se lo haremos llegar. Muy bien, ahora le daremos el uso de la voz a Golchek, por favor. No lo dejo aquí. Thank you very much for this award. Um, on the behalf of Andrea and uh, all the members of the European Data Protection Board. As the first chair of the EDBB, Andrea Jelinek was a real trailblazer, shaping and building the EDBB into what it is today. This award commemorates this achievement. It is my honor to be her successor and accept this award on her behalf. Thank you. And of course, it's only fitting now to hear from the current European Data Protection Supervisor, Wojciech Wiewiarowski. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I was supposed to say these few words before giving the award to uh, Andrea, 
but uh, I, I have to say them. I really have to say them. Uh, dear members and observers of the Global Privacy Assembly, uh, I would like to thank, first of all, the Executive Committee uh, for uh, their efforts uh, to remember about Giovanni and about uh, his role in setting up this uh, conference uh, and the road to this conference uh, to the international one organized by Giovanni in 2018 in Brussels by his vision. And I'm thankful also to Giovanni's family, to Serena, Gianluca, Eleonora, for their fundamental support to the initiative of the award. Uh, Professor Shoshana Zubov and Elizabeth Denham were two first and remarkable recipients of the award. And I could hardly think of a more honorable and distinguished recipient of the third edition than Andrea. Andrea has played a role of a head of Austrian Data Protection Authority and her career was not the typical one for the data protection. Uh, she worked for the Ministry of Interior, she worked for the police, she worked for the law enforcement authorities, and she was really a brave woman, and she is a brave woman, and she will be a brave woman, and uh, what we got from her so far is just uh, the part uh, of her life career. Ladies and gentlemen, as I say, Andrea is a brave woman. He always been. Andrea has her views, but above all, she has the perfect understanding of what is expected from the functions uh, and from the, pre, uh, from the civil servant. She is institutional, never making it about herself. She is perfect civil servant. The perfect civil servant is not somebody who is just blindly following the line, but somebody, someone who merges a personal input uh, with the modest sense of being a part of something bigger. She was a part of something bigger, being in the law enforcement authorities. She was uh, some part of something bigger when she was in Austrian authority. And uh, she is now at the moment uh, when we are giving the award to her. Uh, here at the General, uh, Global Privacy Assembly. I always get emotional when I think about uh, Giovanni's uh, input, uh, and uh, I believe that he would be very happy of uh, that because Andrea and Giovanni shared the mutual appreciation uh, of one another and represent true believers and defenders of the European project and the European approach to data protection and personal data. Uh, Andrea, with this award, we are saying uh, that uh, you were the great inspiration